Welcome everybody, we're in Springfield, Oregon at the Springfield Museum. What do Clint Eastwood, Ken Kesey, and the Simpsons have in common? Well, they've all lived in Springfield at one time or another. Yes, even the cartoon characters did. Welcome everybody to Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Ken Ackerman. Well, since 1950, residents in Lane County have been able to explore their more creative side thanks to our next guest and who she represents. Please welcome Karen Marie Pavlik from the Maud Kearns Art Center. Thanks for being here. Hi. Tell me a little bit about uh, the history of the Maud Kearns Art Center. The Maud Kearns Art Center was established in 1950 and we are in the oldest standing church building in Lane County. And so within that church, um, we have an exhibitions gallery. Um, currently right now, like for, for instance today, we've got spring break art camps for children. And we also have adult classes, open studio classes, painting classes. And then also on that site, we have a printmaking facility. And there are 30 local ceramic artists and sculpture, sculptors who are there doing their work right now. And then we have a printmaking studio. That's it? That's all you have? It just sounds like it, it couldn't fit in a church, everything that you offer. I, I want to maybe slow down a little bit and talk first about the camps that you offer right now. They're movie making camps, is that right? Yes, yeah. They, the, they're there right now. They're creating their storyboards, their characters, and they're going to be making, um, on Friday, they'll be having a screening of their stop motion animation shorts, and then some of them are doing claymation animation. When you think of an art center, you don't, I guess I don't first think of making movies, but that's an art as well. Um, what other mediums do you, uh, do you not only teach, but promote at the art center? Um, we do a huge cross-section of different mediums, um, as I mentioned, clay, mm -hmm. we've got acrylic, oil painting, um, we have open studios where we have a model and there's life drawing and life painting. Um, we have also printmaking that we do there, so it's a huge amount of different types of medium um, and we've got people who are doing journaling, artists journaling, so it, can, it varies every time and we change our classes every quarter. And you offer classes for adults and children as well? Yes, we believe um, we're kind of coming up with a, we've developed a new visioning statement and we believe in lifelong learning in the arts. You know, with the economy the way it is, you see a lot of galleries shutting down. Uh, this is a place where you still uh, hold exhibits. Yes, yes, we're currently going to be showing um, a wonderful photography exhibit on April 8th of two photographers and it's going to be about vanishing and imagined places. And you also have uh, artists coming from as far away as Israel to, to not only show their, their work, but to also to help out. Oh, definitely, yeah. We also put on, what makes it all happen for Mod Kearns Art Center is an event called Art in the Vineyard. Mm -hmm. It's a local festival that happens this year. It'll be happening July 2nd, 3rd, and 4th out at Alton Baker Park. And we have over 140 artist booths there. And the artists range um, from, again, all different kinds of meeting, medium, including jewelry um, and photography. And they come from as far away as Israel. And we have one um, artisan there who does jewelry who's coming from Hawaii. Now, where's this on the bank of the, the Willamette where? River? Right by in Alton Baker Park okay. in Eugene. And yeah. That's July Fourth weekend. Do you have mm -hmm. fireworks? Yes, we do. Oh, you do July have fireworks. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. and we're really great. We're really lucky this year because we're going to have the Portland Cello Project playing. So they're going to be the um, the act right before the fireworks. Uh huh. And uh, moving a little ahead after summer in September, you have a teen uh, art show. Tell me about that. This is, um, it's the Mayor's Teen Art Show, and um, there's a call to artists that go out to artists who are 13 to 19, and um, we have the mayors involved in that, and we also have um, the title sponsors, Comcast. And, and this, this, everything you do benefits the community in so many different ways. And it does, yeah, and it, it's a tribute to the community because the Lane County is a, is a community that is full of wonderful artists. All right, well, we want to mention once again that Art in the Vineyard is July 4th weekend. And uh, for more information, we'll have your website available to everyone and also uh, everything else that you do. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. Appreciate it, uh, Karen Marie Pavlik. And we appreciate you joining us as well on Comcast Newsmakers. For everyone here from Springfield, Oregon and the Springfield Museum, make it a great day.